बिस्मिल्लाम हेलो एंड वेलकम टू रहमान डिजिटल प्रोडक्शन दिस इज मैथमेटिक्स फोर्टी ट्वेंटी फोर ऑफ जी सी ई एंड लेक्चर नंबर ट्वेल्व एंड दिस इज एक्सरसाइज टू सी ऑफ बुक नंबर वन ऑफ डी सीरीज and then we did a uh, question number 9 and g part we did today we are going to do part number h the question has been written in advance to save the time that is a uh, braces started and minus 10 12 min n this is the question uh, our first job is to evaluate this portion i am writing all the things as it is this is minus 10 and this is uh, i am writing it as 12 Plus nine, twelve plus nine, and then I am writing twenty-seven. Uh, and then I am closing this braces and divide by minus three. Ladies and gentlemen, next we have two. uh multiply this and i am writing also this with the so here i am writing a uh, minus 10 and then if i am writing this so this will become 21 and then i am writing a uh, 27 and whatever is coming from this we have to divide that by minus 3 now minus 10 and minus 21 is equal to minus 31 so i am writing minus 31 plus 27 and then whatever is coming from this portion i will divide that by minus 3 <clears throat> uh let me remind you that minus 31 and 27 are having different symbols so from 31 we have to subtract 27 and that will be 4 in the sign of the larger number so that will be minus 4 divided by minus 3 uh ladies and gentlemen this will be cancel with this one and when we divide 4 by 3 we will get One whole one over three, and that is the answer. Let me remind you: when you can write the thing in max fraction, you don't have to write it in the decimal form, because decimal form, when there is a decimal, then you have to give the answer in decimal form. uh decimal form is not incorrect but the uh trend in the cie exam is that you have to write like this ladies and gentlemen i am writing question number 10 and again i am writing do yourself i am writing again do yourself uh because the use of calculation and no specific symbol is there 
which is not available on the uh, uh, calculator. So directly you have to press whatever written inside the calculator and then you will get the required answer. Once again, I am reminding you that if you are not having, if you are not being able to do these question right in the comment section, then I will solve it to you directly. Okay, directly I am turning my focus to question number 11. And question number 11 is saying that minus 2 multiplied by minus 6.5 minus 6.5. Very carefully you have to write and then minus n square brackets and then minus 2 multiplied by minus 3 and similarly this is plus symbol let me tell you one thing here before moving further let me tell you that most of the students are confusing their cells with the plus symbol and divide symbol. Mostly the students are considering this, plus, uh, this division symbol as plus symbol. So as a result they are getting wrong answer. Please pay full attention in the paper that whether it is plus or minus. So, here I am writing plus 8 into minus 2. And then I have to write minus 8 multiplied by 2 and then bracket a uh, square bracket close and then I have to write plus 5 square and the whole thing is under the cubic root the whole thing is under the cubic root and in gentlemen when students are seeing such a long question they are saying, oh, how difficult that will be. But it is not the case. Once your basic concept is clear, then it means that you can solve any sort of question. And this course, the first period of this course is to clear your basic concept. In the second book, book there is a bit advanced level of question. So, please pay full attention to this course. Okay, I am writing minus 2 and when I multiply this with this, it will become 13. Minus and minus will be this and then minus and I am writing 6 and then minus 16 and then minus 16 and I am closing the bracket and it will be 25 and then I am putting this cubic root symbol. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is 13. I am writing and first I have to evaluate this. This is 6 minus 16 minus 10 and minus 16 is minus 26. Minus 26 again. Ladies and gentlemen, this 6 plus minus 16 mean minus 10, minus 10 and minus 
26 is uh, minus 26 and then I am writing that 25 on its place and then I am writing the cubic root. Ladies and gentlemen, I am writing 13 minus n minus plus 26 and then plus 25 and the cubic root. Right after this, I am evaluating it is a cubic root of 64 because 25 and 26 is 51 and 51 when added with 13 it becomes 64. Now we can write cubic root of 64 as 4 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 4 which is equal to cubic root of 4 cube. Now this cube will be cancelled with this so 4 will be the ultimate answer with this question we reach the end of this exercise now very important exercise is the next one in which we will use the fraction concept how to add the fraction and how to subtract multiply and divide the fraction so let's start exercise 2D. Okay. Let us start exercise 2D. And that is all about fractions and mixed fraction. Ladies and gentlemen, if a number can be written in the form of P over Q, then it is called a fraction. There are three types of fractions. One is called proper fractions. The second one is called improper fractions. Improper fractions. And the third one is mixed fractions mixed fractions. Let us talk about these fraction. But before that, I told you if a number can be written in the form of P over Q, but remember Q should not be equal to 0. And this Q will not be equal to 0. This P is called numerator and this q is called denominator this is called denominator so there are two part of a fraction numerator and denominator it is also given on the book uh, page number 43 of d1 so, this type of fraction are called proper fraction in which the denominator is greater than the numerator. Numerator will be small and denominator will be greater. And the second type is 4 over 3 or 2 over 2. When the denominator is smaller than or equal to the numerator, then it is called n 5 whole 1 over 3. This is mixed fraction. This is called 5 whole 1 over 3. Ladies and gentlemen, all these numbers are positive, but it can be extended to negative 1 as well. For example, this is a minus symbol we are putting. 
<coughs> then we are saying that this is negative fraction. Similarly, minus makes fraction. Let us directly jump to question number 1. And let me tell you many things about this. This is minus 1 over 2. Minus 1 over 2 plus. And then minus 1 uh, uh, minus 3 over 4. Minus 3 over 4. Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, we have to write this and this plus minus with minus and that will be equal to 4. We have to take the LCM of these two which will be 4. People are doing these in many ways. I will tell you one way and we will stick to that one way till the end of this. Uh, exercise which is the last exercise of this chapter. Okay, uh, 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 ladies and gentlemen, remember divide this 4 by this 2. 4 divide by 2. 2 2 are 4. What is the answer? 2. So, you have to multiply this 2 with this numerator and that will become minus 2. Then we have to put that minus symbol on its place. Uh, divide this 4 by this 4. Then it will give you 1 and you have to multiply that 1 with the numerator. Let me tell you the simple rule. Divide this LCM by the denominator. Whatever result we are getting, you have to multiply that with the numerator. So, in this case, this will be minus 3 and minus 5 divided by 4, which is equal to minus 1 whole 1 over 4. So, that was the whole story about part number A and now we are doing part number B. That was part number A and now we will do part number B which is saying 3 whole 1 over 8 plus and then minus 1 over 4 minus 1 over 4. Let us first remove this fraction. You have to multiply this with this 3 and then plus this one. So, 3 8s are 24 plus 1 25 divided by 8. And when this plus is multiplied with this minus, so it will give you minus 1 over 4. Now, ladies and gentlemen, 8 is the <coughs> smallest number which is divisible by both 8 and 4 which is called LCM. So, 8 you have to divide this LCM by the numerator, uh, denominator. When we divide this, it will give 1 and 1 25s are 25 minus divide this LCM by the denominator, it will give you 2 and you have to multiply that 2 with 1. So, in this case, it is 23 divided by 8. Ladies and gentlemen, remember one thing that if numerator is divisible by denominator, you have to write the answer in simplest form or in mixed fact, fraction. But if numerator is smaller than the denominator, then you have to leave the answer as it is. Here 23 is divisible by 8, so I am dividing it. 
16 because 3 8s are 24 is then greater than 23. So, here I will get the answer as 8 twos are 16. When we subtract this 16 from this 23, then we will get 7 as the answer. So, here I am writing 2 whole 7 over 8 is the answer. Now, we are doing the C part and the C part is saying that C part is saying that uh, 5 whole 1 over 5 5 whole 1 over 5 minus 4 whole 1 over 2 minus 4 whole 1 over 2. Ladies and gentlemen, you have to convert this mixed fraction to the normal fraction. So, 5 fives are you have to multiply this with this and then plus this one with the result. 5 fives are 25 and plus 1 means 26. Divide by this one 5 minus 2 fours are 8 and 9 divide by 2. The LCM is 10 and when we divide this LCM by 5, it will give you 2 and then we have to multiply this 2 with 26, it will give you 52. When we divide this 10 by 2, 5 and 5 when multiplied with 9, it will give you 45. So, in this case, when we subtract 45 from 52, it will give you 7. That is what I was talking in the previous uh, uh, part that if numerator is smaller than the denominator you have to leave the result as it is because 7 is not divisible by 10. You don't have to write the answer in decimal. Don't write it in the decimal. Okay, now we are doing the D part and the D part is minus 3 whole 1 over 6 and then plus minus 4 whole uh, minus 4 whole 2 over 3 minus 4 whole 2 over 3 first of all this will be uh, 19 divided by 6 minus 14 divided by 3 so, 6 is the LCM. When 6 is divided by 6, 1, so it will be minus 19. And when 6 is divided by this 3, it will yield 2 to 14, 28. Now, both these uh, digits are negative. So, we have to put first negative symbol and then simply add this and that will be 47 divide by 6. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, 47 is divisible by 6. So, we have to divide it not like in this case which was not divisible. So, we left that. So, 6 uh, 6 7 are 42 so 5 will be there so the answer will be minus you have to write this minus symbol minus five, minus 7 whole 5 over 6 is the answer that was the whole story about the d part now we have to uh, turn our focus to uh, question number 
टू इन विच मोर फन इज कमिंग ऑन यूर वे मेनी कैलकुलेटर्स आर हैविंग डिफरेंट बटन फॉर दल्यूशन ऑफ दिस सॉर्ट ऑफ क्वेश्चन द वन आई एम हैविंग राइट नाउ विद मी आई एम टेलिंग यू द स्टेप्स ऑफ दीज many calculator for fraction are saying like a b divided by c button with me there is a button which is saying like this divided by this they are saying like this this is that mixed fraction but here directly you can write the mixed fraction let me tell you the steps of calculators the step of calculator first you have to write this uh, minus 1 uh, uh, minus 1 over 2 so you have to write minus and first you have to press the minus button and then you have to press this button on the calculator this button on the calculator but before that you have to press this one and then you have to press this button in my calculator i told you that many calculator are using different button for it but every calculator scientific calculator is capable of doing these sort of questions okay then i have to press the two button this one and uh one this button and then two and then plus this button and then bracket start parenthesis start and then you have to press minus and then you have to press this 3 and again you have to press this button which is showing you the fraction and then you have to write this 4 and then the parenthesis close button let me feed it to the computer memory i am pressing parenthesis minus and then 3 and then this symbol and then 4 and then bracket close to see the answer you have to press the equal symbol so i am pressing the equal symbol and that is giving me the answer of this is minus 5 like this minus 5 4 minus 5 divided by 4 but there is another way i am telling you there are button but above this button it is written like this and that is directly when you are feeding in mix fraction this one then it means that the answer will also be in mixed fraction 
let us do that for the first question you can do this because mixed fraction is not there so you are because this doesn't contain any mixed fraction so that is why it is coming like this let us do the second part and that is b part 3 whole 1 over 8 plus minus 1 over 4 plus minus 1 over 4 ladies and gentlemen in this there is mixed fraction how we will write this mixed fraction you have to it is written here above this button not on the button so whatever you want to do not written on the button you have to press the shift key there is a shift key which is on the upper left corner of the calculator so in this case i am pressing first shift key the key sequence is press shift and then press this button and then press this button actually you are telling the calculator shift means shift the focus from this button to the downward portion shift the focus from this button i don't want to do anything which is written above this uh, button here it is written like this so i am doing like this you have to check the manual of your calculator that how we can write most calculator other than this one is uh, uh, having this button as well you can write first three then this button don't uh, press the shift button and then you have to press one and then uh, three whole one and then again you have to press this button over this one and then you have to write eight then you have to press the plus button and then you have to press the parenthesis start which is this one and then you have to press the minus button and then you have to press one and then you have to press this button again which is with me you will have to use your own calculator and then you have to press this four and then parenthesis close and then equal symbol so it means that you will get 23 over 8 the answer will be 23 over 8 like this so it means this answer you are getting if you are writing this answer this is also correct <clears throat> now we are doing question number three ladies and gentlemen that question is all about the multiplication and division first of all we have to do it manually but here i am giving you a very very important concept my in my 30 years of teaching experience i noted that many students are 
confusing their cells with this concept and as a result they are losing very important marks what is that let's start question number three and a part in the a part they are saying 15 divided by 8 multiplied by 4 over 3 ladies and gentlemen the concept i wanted to convey is that if this question was 15 over 8 plus y minus 4 over 3 then you won't be able you could not cut this with this one only this type of cutting is allowed that is the main concept in case of this cross symbol I am making it a bigger for your understanding that this can be cut with this one and this can be cut with this one this multiplication symbol but not in this case they are saying the this symbol of plus this symbol of plus means only this can be cutted with this. So, this means this, this can also be cutted, but it can also be cut like this. It can be cut with the cross symbol as well as with the plus symbol. So, we can cut this 3 1s are 3 and 3 5s are 15. <clears throat> and then 4 1s are 4 and 4 2s are 8. Ladies and gentlemen, in this case, it is not allowed to cut this 4 with this 2 or this 3 with this 5 absolutely wrong. So, you have to keep in mind and this is my experience that I noted that people are not understanding the concept that which one should be cutted with which one. One thing more I noted in my experience that when this 15 divided by 8 plus y minus 4 divided by 3. What the students are doing whose basic concept is not clear, they are subtracting or adding this with this and subtracting or adding this with this denominator with denominator and numerator with no which is absolutely wrong you don't have to add if only in one case is it, it is allowed 15 divided by 8 plus y minus 3 divided by 8 if the denominator is the same then you can directly subtract this 3 from 15 but if denominators are not the same then it is absolutely not permissible to subtract this directly or add it directly but in case of multiplication one thing you have to keep in mind that it can directly be multiplied with this one and you can directly multiply this with this one and I will do it right now because 5 ones are 5 and 2 ones are 2 5 ones are 5 
and because 5 is divisible by 2, so 2 twos are 4 and 1, so it is 2 whole 1 over 2. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you one thing more, this is very important, 2 whole 1 over 2 is nothing, it is 2 and a half. You can say 2 and a half, because 1 over 2 is half. When you divide one circle into it is called 1 over 2. So, 2 <coughs> is a whole and then half. For example, 2 whole 1 over 2 dollars ya rupees. So, it means 2 rupees whole and half of the rupee which is 50 pesas. So, you have to keep in this uh, mind this concept that 2 whole 1 over 2 is nothing. It is what it is mean to whole, no part of it, and half, two and a half. You can say it like this. Okay, so two whole, one over two is the concept, uh, the answer, ladies and gentlemen, we are uh, running out of time. So, for today, it is enough. Tomorrow we will come with the new concept and new energy and we will learn more basic concept of this multiplication and division of fraction. Please subscribe my channel and support me if you want that I should continue in this spirit. Press the bell icon and share these videos with your friends and family members so that everyone can get advantage of it. Thank you for watching it. Have a nice time. Allah Hafiz.